Hey guys, it's LBS here again, your tech guide. So today we are going to be checking out the brand new iPhone XS Max. As you can see, this device is just simply amazing. It is beautiful. It is so much better using the iPhone X because of its large screen display. Check that display, guys. Hold on. Let me activate this. Oh, shoot look at that screen display guys beautiful beautiful the notch right there for some reason using this bigger device i don't really notice the notch that much when i was using compared to using the iphone 10. Um, i don't know i guess the screen display since it's bigger it made the notch look a little bit smaller but look at that guys what a beautiful, beautiful device. As you can see, the Note 9 is much taller. The width-wise, almost similar. And the thin-wise is pretty much identical. Look at that. Both amazing, good-looking devices, guys. Wow, weight-wise, they are somewhat similar. Let's check out the weight scale while we're at it. Okay, let's check out the Note 9. 202 grams. And the iPhone XS Max, 208 grams. So not much of a different, guys. Okay, so the purpose of this video is we're going to see if the iPhone XS Max can actually work with the DJI Osmo Mobile 2. So let's put my tripod leg here and we'll try to set this up and see if it will work or not or if the device itself is too heavy for the gimbal. Okay, let's put that on like that and we'll mount it like this. Okay, let's just move it up a bit and voila. So let me just balance it a little bit and hold on. Let me adjust my camera here so you guys could see everything. So let's balance it. So we've got plenty more weight here so maybe if we do have a case on the device it will still balance okay right there perfectly balanced guys boom so let's turn on the device itself and power on the gimbal And boom, works like magic, guys. Okay, so let me just flip this and open up the DJI Go app. Okay. I don't want to turn on my location, but boom, right there. It just automatically connects, guys. All right, so let's check out the settings. If we can get the 4K 60 frame per second, we can only shoot the maximum is 4K 30 frame per second. That is the back camera. The camera itself can shoot in 4K 60 frame, 60 frame per second. And for the front facing camera, 1080 50, uh, 30 frame per second. So that's your typical set up for the front facing camera and you pretty much get all the full control here so if you got your um tracking act active tracking you could track and so forth okay let me just fix that up again get a proper as you can see we got the active tracking working all right so 
now let's go out to the field test this out we're going to be shooting in um, 4k 30 frame per second on the gimbal's camera app first and then from there we're gonna use the dedicated iphone 10's camera app and try to shoot in 4k 60 frame per second and also i think i'm gonna probably do a handheld as well shoot handheld in 4k 60 frames per second so we could have a general idea how good the gimbal get rid of the shakiness so let's go right now and check it out i am using the phone with my bare hand holding this device and um, i'm trying to be very careful with this because i don't have any case right now so if i drop this oh boy boy there goes my $1,700 down the toilet. Oops, okay, open my garage here, guys. So also during the test, listen to the audio, guys, and see how, how the audio is like. And uh, let me just put my gimbal here inside the trunk first before I do some more movement and action so that we could really see how good this brand new iPhone XS Max really is. So let's walk a little bit further down here and see how steady the camera is. Okay, so I'm just holding it at the edge of the phone. Let me just center myself here guys. Okay, right there. So I'm just walking around as steady as I can or as normal as I can. So just look at this shakiness and I'm going to try to run and see how the stabilization is. All right. So now let's go back, check out the back camera. All right, so here is the back camera. We are shooting in 4K, 60 frames per second now. And um, let's find out how, uh, how the stabilization is. Okay, so again, I'm just walking normally here. And let's try to focus on something. Okay, let's press times two. move out okay that's times three oops hold on guys okay that's times three and back all right so let's walk again with times let's change the focus okay so we are completely zoomed in and of course I don't think this, the stabilization on this setting will be great. So let's go back to the regular viewing angle. Okay, so now I'm gonna run. And there it is, guys. Okay, so let's put on the gimbal and see if there's any difference. Okay, so I'm using the gimbal now, guys. Shooting at the same settings when I was uh, using my bare hand. And um, look at the footage, guys. I'm just like looking at it on the screen display. It looks very, very smooth. One other thing that I noticed with the old iPhone 10 was the audio. I think it was during front facing recording the audio seemed to be muffled so i don't know with the new one with this the max i hope i don't know if the audio has been uh, fixed or not but anyway let's continue doing our tests here i'm gonna pick up the pace a little bit and then i'm gonna run Oh wow, 
that looks very very smooth guys very smooth okay so let's switch the camera to the back now all right so this is the back camera in 4k 60 frames per second very very smooth let's try to focus on something here press the zoom times zoom here and see how steady the footage is okay so let's walk with the zoom and now let's go back to the normal viewing angle Okay, I'm picking up the pace now, guys. And I'm gonna run. Okay, I'm gonna run on the zooming viewing angle as well and see how that goes. Okay, let's go back, and there it is, oh shoot, okay, so that's what it looks like the back camera on the iPhone 10 Max, I don't know, for some reason I could feel some vibration on the DJI Osmo Mobile. Is it maybe because the gimbal is defective or the phone, the device itself is heavy? I'm not too sure guys. All right. So now let's activate the app on the DJI Osmo Mobile and check out the active tracking. All right, so I'm using the DJI Osmo Mobile 2 app, camera app. Now we're gonna activate the active tracking. I'm gonna trace myself here. And there I am. Okay, hold on. There you go. Let me just change my angle here. So I could be on the screen, there you go. So it is just tracing me, tracing me here, guys. Wherever I move, it will trace me. Okay, if I drop the phone on the floor, on the ground here, it should trace my face. There you go. I don't know if I'm... Hold on, guys. Alright, okay, there you go. Let's retrace myself again. I need to be on screen here. There you go. Okay, so let me just move around. Okay. So it's work working perfectly fine. Oh, what happened here? Okay. There you go. It's quite glitchy there, guys. I don't know what's going on. But somewhat glitchy. Okay, let's do it again. Okay. Alright, for some reason I'm feeling vibration on my gimbal here. I think it might not be um, compatible yet. I could feel vibration. Okay, let me turn that off. Turn the gimbal off. All right, guys, so just a quick update regarding that vibration that we just uh, had on that last clip. Um, for some reason, I think the reason why it was vibrating was because of the gimbal. The battery was um, pretty much running low. And um, I've got the gimbal fully charged right now. And I don't hear no, gimb uh, no, no um, vibration anymore. So 
it's kind of weird that it's got that um warning warning sign to have the gimbal vibrate but um luckily you know it wasn't the gimbal's uh being defective so it's a good sign that you know the gimbal is okay it's just a warning sign that meaning that our battery is running low and um, what I noticed throughout my test I did review it on my 34 inch curved display um, I noticed that if you are using the the iPhone dedicated camera app I noticed that the the video quality is very sharp a lot of the, the 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 dynamic range is just superb on it and i'm surprised i'm really surprised how good the camera on the uh, on the iphone 10x max i'm very impressed and i'm so impressed that i might be considering using this device as my main uh, my main camera to shoot things i was just blown away i didn't expect that um, when I when I used to own the iPhone 10, the old one, I wasn't really blown away by the camera quality, the footage. But this one, I am very impre uh, impressed. Uh, looking at on the widescreen monitor, you could really see the detail, and and the footage right now, which you are seeing, that what you saw, it's cropped because I'm um, using it on a wide angle. So you'll notice it's a little bit cropped, but if it's not cropped, holy smoke, guys, the the footage is just crystal clear and crisp, amazing. And using the gimbal with the DJI Osmo uh, Mobile with it, perfect, perfect combo, guys. Perfect combo. I'm like, <laughs> I'm speechless. I don't know. I don't know what to say, guys. I'm very speechless. So definitely, I need to check out the Note 9 with the gimbal just to see what uh, it's got to offer because uh, as of right now the iPhone 10 S Max is my go-to camera when it comes to taking video and um, if you are using the DJI Osmo app for the camera um, the quality is not that great guys for some reason the color uh, it's just it's diff it's off I, I shot all my footage in auto mode and uh, the sharpness is just not there so the best way to do it is just use your um, iPhone dedicated camera app and just uh, hook it up with the DJI Osmo Mobile 2 and you're gonna get a fantastic amazing footage um, so that's pretty much it guys I know it's quite long but if you really want to think about it of purchasing the the DJI Osmo Mobile along with your brand new iPhone go for it guys go for it so that's pretty much it if you guys have any other questions just leave me a comment down below and once again guys thank you for watching until then I'll see you guys on the next one peace